Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So hopefully everyone is enjoying the side quest First Night and the Holy Sword. Uh, I will say, this episode is a lot longer than I expected for a three chapter side quest. At first I thought it would only be a few hours, but honestly, I think I got almost 10 hours of gameplay. Um, I did take my time in uh, reading uh, a lot of the um, you know, uh, conversation, talking to all the characters in the cities, and so on and so forth, and of course, doing a lot of exploring. There's a lot of hidden elements in this particular update, and I'll slowly be going through them um, as I have time. Now that being said, after finishing Chapter 3, as you know, we do get Deidre upgraded automatically to a 5-star, and if you bring her in on a team, uh, to the, I guess, the magic mirror on this side with demon gramps, uh, you'll have a little bit of a different encounter than usual. Now, normally, if you uh, bring in your character and there's a manifest weapon battle, uh, as long as you have them on your team, um, you know, it kind of, uh, you get to choose it and so on and so forth. But in this case, there's a different color, almost like a teal color exclamation mark. And it starts a little um, encounter here where um, Deidre speaks to demon gramps and at first doesn't believe that she can reacquire very real since her personal weapon got taken from her at the end of chapter 3 in order to start the cycle whereby um, you know, Deidre gets saved uh, by, I guess, a future self of her so that Annabelle can live. I do apologize for the spoiler alert, but I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you have already finished all three chapters or you've watched through my story uh, walkthroughs and at least understand what's going on. Now that being said, Full Manifest Weapon Battle, this is the first one of two, so after this of course we'll have to start grinding through all the um, you know, XP, and I'm guessing it's going to be the same as usual, 37 million, in order to finish the battle. Now that being said, even though um, this is Deidre in her alternate form as a Paladin, she is using all of her holy moves, so uh, be very aware of um, you know, when you did do the final battle against uh, her in the Beast King's castle, we didn't get to defeat her at all. We just kind of, you know, um, had an HP stopper and she just had to hurt herself with blood cleave until the interaction ended. In this case, you can see she's only doing a minor amount of that, uh, damage. She's shielding herself and you can see that she actually has a fair bit of life even for the first battle. We aren't using any AF bar at this point doesn't seem to be too challenging, the damage is less than a few hundred, and I am uh, you know, being relatively careful, still having Aurora Force, Matsukunda for a debuff, and using a wind team against what I expect to be an Earth character. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way as well. Okay, so... Alright, so this Grand Cross is one of her signature moves. And again, um, last time when we fought the bike boss, it didn't seem to do a lot of damage. Now let's see where we're at this time. Whoa! Actually down to 1 HP across the board. So in this case, I'm not going to um, waste any time. I'm going to activate a full AF uh, with my half bar here. And I'm actually not sure uh, what move will be after this particular move, but um, I'm not going to wait and find out. We're going to end this battle, claim Verreal, and then uh, level up and see what the level 10 uh, second fight in, uh, entails. I will say I don't expect it to be very easy being that the first one already has a 1 HP uh, you know, AoE that wipes you. So um, not sure how I'm going to counter that, but I guess I'll figure it out when I get there. After all, we did get the manifest weapon and Instella using the real sword which Deidre has been carrying. Um, I think I brought her in for some side quest and that's why she has a real sword. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be using her being that as a 4 star, she has limited use uh, in the game as you know. And now, we got her 5 star signature weapon, personal weapon. Nice! Alright, so all that's left is to level her up and level the weapon at the same time. At this point, she's only level 60, so 20 more levels for her to go as well. Um, the video for the second battle might be a little bit slower, being that I don't have very many red keys. I'm going to be using them in the new dungeon, and so um, this is going to be kind of a slow-growing um, XP grind, unfortunately. Uh, that being said, I'm sure I'll get you that video as soon as I have it done. I will say, I do enjoy the fact that Demon Gramps is speaking a little bit differently to Deidre, and Deidre's attitude and personality really shines in this particular interaction with Demon Gramps. 
definitely adds to the flavor of the story. Anyways, as usual, I will bring out my uh, you know, loadout for my team. I know many of you have seen uh, the grass that, that I have equipped on every character. Uh, some of you may not have caught the fact that I did replace uh, Suzette's 2020-30 Elemental with uh, Grasta for Poison, Pain, and left her 30% Elemental. And I did have a video uh, about um, you know modifying that and seeing the difference in damage. So if you haven't caught that already, make sure you catch it. You'll be surprised at the results. And I would highly recommend, uh, being that she does apply Pain and Poison, you can make use of those Grasta as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.